we all know where we want to be as a nation, as an economy, after this long, long season of signs that say this, and front doors that look like this, and a job market that looks like this. Where we want to be, we wish we could, we wish we could, is out of the woods, back on track, over the hump. And can it be true what this Newsweek cover said a couple of weeks ago, as several big companies are actually reporting profits, and people with street cred are saying this. They are emphatic that recovery begins this summer. Predicted and this. Lizanne, you predicted it. Is it real? I do think it is real. I, I think that we are we have enough cumulative signs now that we've come through the worst. And not only are things just less bad, we're actually starting to see some pockets of improvement. But so hey, looks like we are really climbing out, right? Except Except the bell rings today and the market's down 2% in just six and a half hours. And the latest unemployment numbers come out with nearly a quarter million jobs gone last month, while home foreclosures reach an all-time record high. And you have to ask, where is this train taking us? And can we know when one smart economist today tells us this? No, I I think we're at least technically out of the recession. I think it ended in the second quarter, maybe May or June would be the, uh, the best time frame. And another smart economist tells us this. Everywhere else we look, especially employment, you know, there's just been no signs of gains. And I as we looked at a series of economic markers with both these smart people, the stock market, for example, the same thing kept happening. To Lizanne Saunders of Schwab, the bottom line is that big rally since March. I think it reflected a couple of things. One, I think that the stock market it was doing the job that it does so well, which is lead the economy. It's one of the key leading indicators for the economy, and it almost always turns first before the economy does. But Barry Ritzholtz looks back a lot earlier than March. You know, look at 1973-74, market was just about down 44%, then it rallied 75% before it rolled over and died again. So to take any specific move by the stock market and think it has some significant economic forecasting ability is to ignore our history. What about jobs? The Labor Department reported the number of people requesting unemployment benefits for the first time in July was a quarter of a million. But the fact that earlier in the year there were months when the number was more than twice that, has Saunders saying. We have never in history still been in a recession when we've seen a drop in unemployment claims that big. But Ritz Hall says. In fact, the best we can say the stimulus plan has done is it's prevented another half a million layoffs from taking place. What about consumer spending? It's now down more than 8% from last year, and Ritz Holtz, going first this time, does not see that trend turning. You know, the consumers are pretty much spent out. They're, they're not seeing their wages go up. They're not seeing readily available jobs. And in real terms, meaning adjusted for inflation, their incomes have actually gone down. So I don't want to really hold my breath waiting for the consumer to come back. I think it's a good couple of years before sports shopping and retail therapy are back in vogue. And Saunders doesn't argue much with that point, but she sees a different kind of comeback. I think businesses, consumers, investors to some degree, they went into such lockdown mode that I think the pop you're going to get from that coiled spring is going to generate a quarter or two, maybe more, of better than expected readings for the economy. And then housing, the part of the story we all understand and to which we're nearly all connected. We still have a tremendous amount of inventory out there and a lot more in terms of foreclosures likely to happen over the next two years. We're at least in less bad mode for housing. Um, so I do think that turn is in, but it's likely to be a fairly bumpy path on, on the road to recovery for housing more broadly. Ah, less bad. That's what this train ride is all about. We were sliding backwards fast, now we're sliding less fast, which is better than before, but which still does not mean we're out of the woods. I'm John Donvan for Nightline in Washington.